Okay, so now we're going to be conducting the PLC test without SureStreamer. It's going to be the first out of two tests that we're going to be conducting. So we've already removed SureStreamer from all the, work, the five workstations that we previously described. Uh, before we go into detail about this test, perhaps it would be beneficial if I explain or go through the, uh, the main inherent problems that have been plaguing PLC technology. Now, experts recommend that a PLC adapter like the one I'm holding in my hand right here should always be plugged directly to a wall outlet. Now, they also recommend that the PLC adapter should not share the same wall outlet with any of its interconnected equipment or simply put, use a power bar. Also, they recommend that the PLC adapter should not be used in conjunction with a surge protection device because all these installations would actually have an adverse effect on the PLC adapter's transfer rate. So, in this particular test, without SureStreamer, we tried our best to adhere to the uh, experts' recommendations. So let's take a look and see um, how we fared in one of our uh, stations here, shall we? So this is one of our uh, workstations, and you can see digital equipment here. Um, the first thing you notice is we're actually using a power bar. And this is because uh, we are actually confined to a single wall outlet there. So in this particular case, because we are limited by this impracticality, we actually had to use the PLC adapter and plug it into the same power bar as its interconnected equipment right here. Okay? So let's take a look at all the other workstations, starting with the um, entertainment station and see how the HD stream uh, fared when we uh, uh, streamed it from the server. Okay? Uh, you notice that in this entertainment station, the sure streamer has been removed. Adding its change, we have the PS3 that we're going to use to stream the HD file from the server. We have the laptop, the switch, and the LCD TV. You would also notice that the PLC adapter is plugged into a power bar which shares the same wall outlet as its interconnected equipment. This is again because we are limited by a single wall outlet. And to show you that we're not pulling any pranks right here, this power bar is actually connected behind this wall into a single wall outlet. Okay? We'll show you where the wall outlet is. Now, if you follow me right here, you can see that the power bar is connected directly into this single wall outlet. Again, the PLC adapter had to be plugged into a power bar and shared uh, its power supply with the interconnected equipment because we were limited by this impracticality of a single wall outlet. Okay, let's, let's take a look and see. Now, we're going to stream the HD file from the server back there to this particular entertainment station. And we'll take a look how it fares without Sure Streamer. Now I'm going to go to our network, access the our folder, main folder, go to the subfolder, and we're going to try and stream the full 1080p HD file. Now while it's loading, you might want to take um, a zoom in here on the LED of the PLC adapter. You'll see that it's actually showing amber indicating that the connection rate is subpar and not stable. Now when it's loaded, please take note on the audio and visual of the Full HD uh, video to see whether it's stutter or lag free. Okay, should be up in a moment. As you can see, the accessing time is taking a little longer without sure streamer. Just bear with us here while this is um, loading. Okay, so immediately you can see that the visual is actually filled with lag and stutter. You can also hear that the audio is filled with lag and stutter. So this is a full 1080p um, video that we're streaming from this server using PLC adapter without sure streamer. Okay, so it's actually very taxing to actually stream a full HD file using PLC um, technology without sure streamer. Okay, as you can see, it's trying its best to actually. Um, stream without any buffering, but uh, it's still filled with lag and stutter. All right, so we'll leave this station right here and we'll see how the other stations are faring without Sure Streamer. Okay, so following me, you'll come to the media station and you'll see that this is the same media station as in the introduction. The only difference is we've added a laptop 
down here. Okay, and you notice again we're using a power bar and a two-way power bar right here because we are limited to a single wall outlet. Again, the Shure streamer has already been removed. And in this situation, because of our limitations, the PLC adapter had to draw the same wall outlet as its interconnected equipment. Now, if you zoom in a little further, you can see on the PLC adapter that the LED light is actually showing amber. Again, indicating that the connection rate is subpar and unstable. Okay, it's so moving on to the next uh, workstation. Again, we have the Shure streamer removed. You can see the Shure streamer has been removed right here. Uh, in this particular workstation, we actually had a twin wall outlet, which means that the PLC adapter did not have to share the same wall outlet as the interconnected equipment. So in this particular case, the power bar, which is for the interconnected equipment, has its dedicated power supply or wall outlet, and the PLC adapter is plugged into a different wall outlet. Even though we followed the expert's recommendation, you can see that the PLC, PLC adapter's LED light is actually showing red, indicating that the connection rate is actually subpar and very unstable. Okay? And this is again without sure streamer plugged into this workstation. Now on to our last um, uh, workstation or our customer station. Here you can see again that we've removed sure streamer and it's sitting right here. And because we only had a single wall outlet again, we had to use a two-way power bar or power strip. In this particular case, the PLC adapter is again sharing the same wall outlet as its interconnected equipment. Now if you zoom in again, you can see that the LED light on the PLC adapter is actually showing amber, which means that the connection rate is um, subpar and unstable. So we've highlighted to you uh, all five workstations without Shure Streamer, and you, could, you noted that the connection rate was uh, unstable, not constant, and actually um, subpar. So in the next test, we're going to show you uh, what happens when we incorporate Shure Streamer into all the five stations, and we'll run the same test again, okay?